Hello, my name is Marcus with MLC CAD Systems and I want to talk about multi-body parts and assemblies on imported files. So the first thing I want to show you is an option under System Options, Import. If you look at these neutral file formats, Step, IGES, ASUS, you have some options for the assembly structure. Do you want it to import multiple bodies as parts, so every individual body becomes a new part file? Or do you want to import the assembly as multiple body parts. So you're basically saying one part becomes multiple parts or multiple parts become one part. You get to choose. Now for Parasolid, Parasolid actually maintains the, the mapping in the file so it doesn't matter what you do for a Parasolid. So first thing you can do if you need an assembly or a multi-body part is to check there and re-import to get exactly what you're looking for. In this case, I've got a multi-body part, but I really want an assembly because I want to be able to show an exploded view. So for this, what I can actually do is right click on the solid bodies folder and choose save bodies. And what it's going to do is it allow us to create a brand new file, part file, for every single body in this assembly. Now, if you do this import with that option to create multi-body parts as individual components, uh, this would basically happen automatically. Now in this case I don't want just the X files exported I actually also want to create an assembly. So here I can come in here and say create assembly and this is effectively a save as dialog. So I'm gonna say this is my imported assembly and then this is gonna automatically generate every single one of these pieces into its own separate part file. Click OK and it's going to create, it would in this case, 80 files uh, and one assembly file that will make it possible for me to do an explode view on this. So depending on the file format you get in and the import options, you may end up with a multi-body part or an assembly with the save bodies command or by taking an assembly and doing a save as solid part, you have control over whether the final result is a part or an assembly. I hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, like it, drop a comment if you have any questions or would like to see more.